Hi everyone, how is everybody doing today? So, I have been um, a bit busy, um, crafting obviously, um, but no, we're cashing up on those projects I started before Christmas but did never get to finish before Christmas because of course Christmas is the time of year where it's all stressful um you're rushing around trying to get everything ready and I never got this project finished um and it wasn't a Christmas gift it was just um just a gift just a gift and I'll explain the reasons behind me making it First of all, it was um, my lovely friend Marcia. So Marcia, if you're watching, hi. Um, she gave me two fabrics. Um, I do see Marcia. She lives literally down the road from me. And she gave me two fabrics. And one of them being was this. Now, I think it's her granddaughter's school dress. I have to guess. Because it's like wet cotton on top. Uh, red on the bottom. And then there was this, which oh, I instantly fell in and I thought, ooh, what can I make out that? My mind was going with ten to the dozen. And I think it's an old, well, I say old, I think, I think it, to her, would have been an old tablecloth. I think she was, um, she put it to one side to make something of it. It was once, I think she said it was an old tablecloth. I'm not, you know, saying it's old, but I think... I'm sort of digging my own self on hold by her, but no, I think that's what she said to me. It was an old tablecloth that she wanted to cut up and make something of, but she didn't know what to make. And she said, I'll tell you what, Claire, here's the fabric. I said, no, Mars, I said, we can make something today. She said, no, no, use the fabric. Um, I'm sure you're pretty good use. So I thought, ooh, what should I make? Should we? Should I make? But I loved the flowers in this fabric. Absolutely fell in love with it. And I loved the fact that when you opened it, when I opened it right up, it, the border of the flowers went right around. And of course, then you had the white dotted in the centre. So, bearing in mind that the fabrics that she gave me, my mind was ticking over time at the things that I could make. But I didn't want to make um, anything that she'd previously seen. So, she'd seen my craft room, so she'd seen like... Uh, pin books so she knows because we um i showed her how to make a pin book she's seen um I'm trying to think flowers that i've made she's seen boxes i've altered she's seen um my pin cushion that i made ages ago and she absolutely fell in love with she's seen that she's seen jars that i've altered things like that so i wanted to make us something totally different so I came up with this concept. So this is it. Doesn't look much, I promise, but it is. So what it is, it's a little, um, I don't know what you would call it, little holder. I'm not sure. Um, I know Marcia, she likes doing bits every now and then in the front of the TV. So bearing in mind, that in mind, um, I made her this. I'm going to call it. I don't really know what to call it. I'm going to call it a pocket holder. That's what I call it, a pocket holder. So, with the fabric, as you can see, I've completely, you can see it. It's absolutely adorable and I can see why she fell in love with it to put her on a table. Um, and then what I did, it's layered from the two, it's layered like a sandwich, so it's got that the two fabrics each side because I cut them out separately and then a piece of felt that runs in between them and I sandwiched it together ironed it flat so that because it sprang up because of course I turned it inside out and what have you um so it's layered with felt so it's quite padded and um I thought oh perhaps she could use it to wear pins in etc so what I've done is um I've recently gone into embroidering so to show you some of my embroidery work, I started doing it on this hoop. Did the stencil of the image um, when I went to a fair with my mum. And ever since, I've really gone into embroidering. So, bearing that in mind, I lent some books out the library. And I made like a real curled up flower. Now, don't ask me to repeat it because I haven't got a clue how I've done it. Um... I honestly don't know how I 
<laughs> done it. I just followed the book. So I have to make it again for me to remember how I did it because I really can't remember how I did it. But the effect, as you can see, it curls up like a rose. You see that? And then I did the pink on the back as well because I wanted to use the colours from the cloth. See the pinkness in the cloth? I wanted to use the colours from the cloth and make them pop. So I bear in mind, I think that was, yeah, there was three pieces of ribbon. Um, but it's the way you sort of curl it around. Like I said, I would have to do it again for me to, in order to, for me to remember it. So, done that. This is a piece that I had uh, bought off the lovely Shilpa. Um, fell in love with, really like hoarding it for ages and ages and ages. And I just wanted one piece to go here. So, <laughs> Shilpa, if you're watching, hi. Um, so, I'm not hoarding anymore. <laughs> I'm using. So, I've used a piece here. And then this pink piece here, this lace. I had given to me over Christmas um had given to me I want to say a name but last time I did that it was the wrong person um I can't remember no Dan Dan gave me this it was um it was this oh you're gonna really see, see my basket it's full of lasers right where's that fabric I know I got it, it was this so what I did is I cut it, because it's quite wide, I cut it around that much, because I only wanted to use a section of it. And then I used this lace that I bought off Shilpa, and that is underneath, so she can, because she loves layers. And I done a buttonhole that on the sewing machine that took me forever. Um, buttonholes I'm going to have to sort of practice on, because they became... That was like a bane of my life. I did it once, I did it twice. And the needle then snapped on me, the con wouldn't go through. Then um, as it was doing the buttonhole, I stopped it because I thought it wasn't doing the buttonhole. Because a buttonhole, let me see if I can draw it on something. When you're doing a buttonhole on a machine. Oh, I want a piece of paper. Give me a piece of paper. Why can't I find a piece of paper? Right, buttonhole on a machine, right, it starts from here, then it sews down there, and this is all while it's going back and forth like a zigzag motion, right, and I will, I will bring this up to the camera in a second, actually, I will bring it up to the camera, sorry for the shaking guys, so it starts from there, that's the point where it starts, right, and it goes zig 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 and it comes to you, and then it goes zig 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 zig, and then it goes back up on itself, right, and then it goes like that, so you end up sort of like having a shape like that, and then once all this is sewn, you, end, you cut this section out, leaving you with this right but what i did was when it was sewing and it got to this point i thought oh it's stuck again i stopped it and of course the minute you stop it you can't sort of regain the stitch you've got to uh, cut all, all of this out and then you've got to start again the buttonhole was a bane of my life so i am going to practice more on them buttonholes but i honestly i really struggled with it but i am going to practice so it opens up like so. I haven't done a pocket here because I thought uh, Marcia might like to put her pins. Because it's quite padded, she's easy enough to put her pins there and they would stay there. Um, and it's not going to stick out the other side. I say it's not going to stick out the other side. It's not going to stick out the other side. See, it's not there. Because it's quite padded. So that's why I haven't put a pocket here. And then when I opened it out, so first we have this pocket. Now this lace I've used, it's um, Italian lace. It's the lace I picked up. And I'm just trying to get some more. And I can't remember what I've just done with it. 
um, it's lace I just I picked up when I went to a craft fair with my mother not so long back and we picked the lace up, lace up and it came on a big reel and um, it's from Italy so what I've done is I come back some new laces um, that I've received not received sorry that I've been um, that I bought this is what I bought this is what I had in my stash um, this was Angie gave me a big bag of scraps how she can call her scraps I'd never know but I shared some with Marcia and I cut some in half because Marcia hadn't got much lace and um, Angie had previously said to me if there's anything you can't use you can pass on so Angie I am passing it on and I've uh, put some red lace in that was in the stash that Angie had given to me she said anything you can't use this was in my own stash that I thought Marcia might like because she hasn't got much lace and I just thought she might like that so um, like I say that was a new lace though that I recently just bought um, like I say the yellow and the red um, the yellow one I split in half because I fancied some as well <laughs> but yeah and you gave me a big bag of lace and then I wrapped something in here now um, I'm not going to unwrap it to show you all but I'm going to leave it as a surprise for Marcia to open um, but all I'm going to say it's a pin cushion in a certain shape if you're in the group you will see what I'm on about and what shape I've done and then this is a pocket then again um, so she can use it so I'm going to be calling it a what did I call it? A pocket, a pocket holder, pocket holder, pocket folder, pocket holder. That's what I call it. <laughs> so that's what I've made for her. It was just something that she'd given me the fabric, and I just thought put a pink button on, and I just thought um, I've got many ideas what to use with the fabric, but I just thought first project has to go to Marcia. So, uh, Marcia, my darling, this is going to go to you. Cannot wait to give it to you. Um, I know she's going to love it. She's going to get really... Um, she's going to be jumping up and down when I give it to her. Um, because I said, oh, come on now, we can make some. And she said, no, make use of it. I know you will. So, that's what I've done. Um, so, I'm hoping she likes it. So, let me know what you guys think. Um would you like to see how I've made it? I might do this on a live actually, a pocket holder. I might do this on a live because they are so um, quick to make, apart from the button holder. I'm going to have to practice on that. And they, can you imagine having that beside your chair? It would just, you know, it's not that, it's not that big that it's going to get in the way. I mean, it's as big as my glass board, 12, 12 inches. That's all it is. Um, and the only reason I know that is because my board is 12 by 12 so you know it's not that big at all um, and to have an extra chair, chair while you're sitting down sewing make a perfect gift so anyway that's my little project chair I thought I'd come on and show you that um, I'm hoping that Marcia will like it and I'm going to be calling it a pocket holder that's what I'll be calling it and I will come back and show you how I've created that um, don't ask me though how I've done that because all I know is that I followed the instructions out of a library book I'm going to have to do it a couple of times in order for me to show you what I've done it does not make any sort of sense um, but yeah it turned out the way it had it in the book so that's still done something right Anyway, thank you all for watching. Um, a big shout out to the lovely Marcia who gave me the fabric. Keep watching because I'm going to be doing many projects with that fabric that she gave me. Um, and like I say, there's something coming up on the channel in a couple of days time. So keep your eye out for that. And um, I will, until next time, I hope you're all having a lovely day wherever you are in the world. And I will catch up with you then in my next video. Bye for now.